everybody, I'm Rockin' Robin. Welcome to my channel. Today's recipe, I'm making broccoli beef, my version. So I'm gonna be adding some carrots and some garlic and, and ginger, and I'm gonna serve this over a bed of rice. So don't go away, I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. All right, everybody, so let's go over the ingredients and get started. First off, I have my uh, beef sirloin here. I got it already cut up into pieces from the butcher, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut these pieces a little bit smaller because they're a little bit large for my dish. We have our broccoli here. I've already cut the florets. I have an onion that I've chopped up. I have some thinly sliced carrots. I have some grated ginger, minced garlic, now here I'm using coconut aminos. I don't know if you've heard of that. I'm using that instead of soy sauce. And this is what the bottle looks like. You can get it at you know pretty much any grocery store or you can get it online. And I'll leave a link for you down below in the description of this video. We'll also need some rice vinegar. Here I have some beef broth. I have some coconut sugar, some cornstarch. I have a few sesame seeds here, which I'm gonna toast up on the stove behind me. We'll need a little bit of sesame oil and some coconut oil. All right, everybody, so I've started off here by just slicing my meat so that it's the right size, you know, bite-sized pieces, because some of them were pretty large. Now I've got that ready. Now I'm going to place my um, marinade for the meat into this bowl. All right, so we're gonna take our coconut aminos and I'm gonna place it in here. And I'm gonna add that cornstarch right off the bat because I wanna mix that up and make sure it gets blended. You wanna mix your, your cornstarch with a cold liquid so it doesn't clump up. Once we get all the lumps dissolved, I'll add the, the rice vinegar. And guys, you can get all the ingredients uh, down below in the description of this video, so be sure and click where it says show more. Here's our beef broth. I'm gonna add the garlic the coconut sugar. It's just gonna kind of sweeten it up a little bit. We want that to dissolve. And the ginger. Let's get that in there. So I'm just gonna place all of the meat right in the sauce. Let that marinate while we get everything else together. So now we're getting down to cooking. Now, you wanna make sure you have everything prepped up when you're doing a stir fry because things go, come together very quickly and you just wanna have it ready to go when you need it. So that's why I've got everything prepped up. We're gonna start off here with my pan. Now I, have a, I don't have a wok, which I'm gonna get one, but right now I'm using a deep uh, frying pan, which works just fine if you don't have one. And I've got my temperature on, I'm starting out on medium high heat and I'm gonna put, uh, a little bit of coconut oil in here. Now you wanna use coconut oil, you don't wanna use olive oil because olive oil doesn't do well in high heat, okay? So you wanna use something that can handle the higher temperatures. All right, so I'm gonna add the beef to the pan. And this is only gonna take, you know, about five minutes to cook up. I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of that sauce to the pan now. I like that sauce for when I serve this over the rice. So I wanna make sure I have plenty of that. I was just wanting, I left it out because I wanted to see if I could get the beef to kind of sear up a little bit. Now that it's, it's almost done, and I'm just gonna let that thicken up, and then we're gonna set it aside into my dish right over here. All right, this looks like it's done to me. I'm gonna turn off the heat, and well, like I said, I'm gonna place it in my bowl behind here, keep it nice and warm. I got the flame back on medium-high. I'm gonna add some more coconut oil to the pan to stir fry up our broccoli and carrots and onions. So we'll put about a tablespoon of coconut oil in there. Let that get hot. Toss in the onions. Toss in the carrots and the broccoli. And I got my temperature on medium high here. And we'll cook these until they get just a little soft. I wanna keep them a little al dente. Guys, at this point, I'm gonna add just a little bit of that sesame oil to this. You don't wanna to add too much, it's, it's powerful, so you just want a little bit. Just drizzle it in. 
You can go as much as maybe a teaspoon, but not more than that. I don't want it to overpower my dish. I'm going to add just a little over a half a teaspoon. Cook that up. Now, guys, I'm going to ask you to test your vegetables because you want them to be done enough. So test your broccoli. Okay, that one's still too firm for me, so we got to go a little longer. This has been cooking now for five minutes. I'm stirring it all the time here. Onions are getting done. What I'm going to do now is add the beef back into it. Stir everything to combine. Okay, so I'm going to put the lid on this for one minute because I want that broccoli just to cook a little bit better. All right, everybody, so we've got our broccoli beef done. Like I said, I'm serving it over some rice. You could serve it over uh, cauliflower rice if you want to cut back on your carbs or your zoodles. That would all be very delicious with this. And here we go. Now I've got plenty of sauce in here, guys, because I really feel like it's the sauce that makes the dish. And this is no exception. What a great meal. It's, it, goes, it comes together really quick. So you could even do this on a weeknight. I'm gonna take a little bite here. I tell you that beef sirloin, we'll start off with that. Use that cut of meat, it's nice and tender. Really goes well with this dish for a stir fry. The sauce, the sauce makes it guys, it's really good. You guys are gonna love this. And all my excitement for this video to finish it up, I forgot to put the sesame seeds, the toasted sesame seeds on top. So go ahead and sprinkle a few of those on if you like them. If you, you know, I'm not crazy about them, you can leave them off, but they add a nice little touch to your dish. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any recipe requests for me, leave them down below in the comment section, or if you have any comments, you wanna ask me a question, uh, I love to hear from you guys. So if you haven't subscribed yet and you want to, and you wanna see more recipes, nice healthy recipes like this, uh, go ahead and click the subscribe button. There's one here on the screen and down below the video itself. So, and if you like the video, you know, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.